What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John and this is an hour special so I hope you guys you're ready to settle in and have some fun. So to run off up on last time we fought against the Barbary States and we also defeated well defeated them in Algiers and we took the port back and in order to do so we did have to trade away Kyodosau which was unfortunate but it's a not super important colonial holding and um, the idea was that we would do this and it would buy us some time to fight the French and no not fight the French to fight other enemy powers but what's happened is that there has been a war of succession controversy and we have been attacked and declared on by the rest of the Catholic world hence why we have invaded Cuba so ultimately I think this is a good trade-off especially once we get these uh, plantations up and running and our ports exporting more goods and I think so you hop over to Europe um, right now trade is unhindered so much so these four three ships of the line may go over to the port and I may actually cancel repairs on the shipyard because it could be raided I'd probably be better off Actually, dropping a cavalryman in, into it and repairing the shipyard. Um, so right now we are at war with... Um, so many people we're at war with... Oh, frame rate drop. We are at war with the Spanish. We are at war with the French. We are at war with the Polish. But that doesn't really matter. We are also at war with the Russians. We need to be... A bit careful because right now we do currently have our forces are spread quite thin we do have a reasonable garrison here in london but if they attack anywhere else like edinburgh then we'd be a bit screwed so this 10 grand that's coming in is critical in terms of our income well, in terms of our research focusing on naval techs decrease decrease uh, decrease in recruitment is handy because we do need to expand our navy and obviously all going down the coat blast furnace increases the wealth generated for metalwork buildings which is also handy but we will have to make some decisions on what direction we go in the med and i'll probably end up taking cagliari just to add another safe haven in the med but obviously i will want to go for madrid but let's hit end turn first because right now nothing we can't really do anything yeah, the Spanish are falling back, so we managed to get Cuba to surrender through demanding surrender rather than actually attacking it, which was pleasant. Um, but this declaration of war, obviously the Russians have moved in. So we are going to lose a bunch of trade income, but that does kind of highlight the fact that I need to keep trickle recruiting ships and getting them to Malta to fight off enemy navies. Because we have gone down this route before about if I leave Malta exposed, does that mean I can... Does that mean someone's going to invade and attack it? And the answer is not necessarily. What's more likely to happen more frequently is they're going to raid my port. So I can't even guarantee that someone's going to help me out and invade the island of Malta. So we've only got 3,000 that turn, so let's hop over to this fleet and it's it's not a good fleet but my naval prowess is famed for being bad so we could upgrade this port but i think it's worth doing let's repair the steam pumped iron mine and let's upgrade this steam pumped iron mine and let's also I know, I know a couple of you guys have complained about me doing this before, about what it makes no sense, but sometimes the AI does just go, you know what, let's make peace. Um, Russia is a difficult one because they've got a lot of naval production now in the med. So who is Russia at war with, apart from us? Portugal, Sweden. Sweden's a good choice to be at war with. I hope they decide to send some of their ships around to help out. 
So the only ships I can actually recruit in my Involetta itself are sixth rates, which isn't that bad. I mean, granted, we do have a th we do have a, a third and two fourths, which is significantly outguns anything they've got. And if you guys could definitely win this fight, um, but I can't because I suck at naval battles, so I don't want to take the risk. So just keep. Keep expanding my hold in the Americas is all I can really do. Store to that battle. Send the cavalry ahead to secure that port and boot out the new Spaniards. I can now um, I can now uh, tax them. So let's get rid of the Jesuit College because we are also Catholic. I probably want to turn this into an industrial building. So this general oh no the general in london got a happy drinker plus one morale in battles but i think the only real thing we can do is expand up so if we attack with the navy from outside the port we do not get the support of the ships in port so we will need to grow our sixth rates inside and then attack outwards But it's only a matter of time before a stack of troops lands somewhere we do not want them to be. Good. If the Prussians declare on the Russians, that would be very useful. Especially the Ottomans as well. I can't believe the Ottomans will let the loss of Istanbul um, go. Especially in the long term. So, yeah. Yeah. Right now, I think we're kind of doing the only thing we can do. I want to rebuild what I've got before I go to aggro. Um, I do want to... I mean, going aggro in the Americas is different because there's lots of um, majority Catholic regions there that we can fairly easily take take control of. Oh, they're on... Okay, I still can't let them go. So you boot them out of the port. You occupy this port and let's spend... That's a lot of money replenishing, but we need to get our get this territory firing on all cylinders. I can upgrade you to a craft workshop, or do I upgrade you to a? Well, I can't upgrade you to a port. It's tempting to upgrade this fellow to a shipyard to give myself some military production in the in the Caribbean. That's probably a good idea. Okay, so let's get this agent over to the Grand Bahamas. Let's embark our agent. Just dump him off of the coast. Come on. Just, I mean, I'm not. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to sell you out too far. It's really odd that I can't. That it's not. Well, there's some of these. Come on, just dump my. See, even controlling it via my. Huh. Well, let's get my ship back to port. Because there's no point in risking him. Actually, I might cancel this craft workshop so I can hop back to Malta and build. Can I not recruit ships inside a port that's blockaded, eh? That's unfortunate. Peace, no. It's off you everything I got. Damn shame. Especially as my navy elsewhere is quite poor. In which case then this fellow... Next turn, he might find, him, find himself sailing back to Europe. Where I will have to recruit a sixth rate here in London just to uh, start to expand my forces. Uh, 
I probably have to have quite a big... Well, I, I will have to have a large navy sat protecting Malta, because there's not a lot I can do otherwise. I should start to dedicate every turn. Just drop a fourth rate under production in Portsmouth. So that way I can... And I can build enough of a navy. Because I'm pretty sure the port, the ships in port don't come to the rescue, sadly. Yeah, we've been blockaded by the new Spaniards. The Venetians have caught a bunch of... Oh, I've caught some Prussian ships in an inlet. Naval architecture advances. Launched what isn't bad for movement range so you might have to go for no I don't want to go for too many diplomacy technologies whoa I can't re okay so I've replenished this army and I've spent all the money I've got in which case then let's just cancel recruitment of this guy because there's no point in him being there if I can't Build them. Let's build an admiral's flagship fifth rate. Oh no, actually, I don't really want. I don't want an admiral's. I don't want an admiral's fifth rate. So let's go to sixth. Let's take this fella because he's going to be my admiral. Get him back to Europe. Can't build a shipyard. Could build a fishery, but there's no point. There's no point building a barrack, building a church school here. So I may as well. Nope, everything's been researched there. Okay, you should be okay now. Yeah, fortunately Cuba's been blockaded. But ideally I do want to hop over and take Santo Domingo. But for now I've got to leave it. Is there anyone else we can trade with? I mean, it's really unfortunate that New Spain got involved. Yeah, all we can do is well even though I didn't get a fourth rate built that turn um, this was the right decision I think because both of my armies are now being replenished to full strength but I definitely do want to get on the naval production chain pretty ricky tick I don't really want to go and sail to the trade zones because I am at war with France and Spain, so it's only a matter of, t you know, they will tear me apart um, at sea, and there's not a lot I can do about it. In the interim, though, I may sail the army that's in Algiers over to Cagliari, just to secure more, more land from the Spanish. Could attack Naples, but I don't want to open up a front well, I'm supposed to open up a front. We do well. We do know just how valuable Naples is in my Italian states campaign. It's quite a valuable region. Yeah, blockades away. That's to be expected, though. We are navally impotent in the Med in the Caribbean. Okay, so I think I want to draw this guy to a shipyard. Actually, fourth forty-seven hundo. That's enough to pick up two fourth rate ships of the line. There we go. My Admiral's over here, so he can come to Portsmouth. These brigs can probably, one can go over to Ireland. And this fella. I want, just want to, I just want this guy out of the way. So I'm building up my another battle fleet here in, in Portsmouth. Okay, one more turn to Blast Furnace. Don't strike in Cuba, but they'll be okay from now on. That's an extra 500 cash a turn. Don't 
don't worry. We will build up a fleet to protect Malta. Then once the trade is flowing, then I can really build up build up fleets. Well, I want a fleet near in Portsmouth. I want a fleet in not necessarily in Malta, but maybe Tunisia. Somewhere within range to defend Malta. Um, or maybe even attacking Sardinia might be good to get to open up a port on Sicily. That might be useful. But really, I just need to build up my build up my naval capacity. Because right now I don't have a lot of space. I don't know why I'm building in Portsmouth. I could build in Algiers as well. But I don't think I can build fourth rates in Algiers yet. I've not upgraded the shipyard and I'm I'm okay with that. Okay, Coke Blast Furnace done. So we need to hop up. We need to upgrade some of these technologies in order to open up the next tier of research, including machine tools. So you're a good one to pick because you're prosperous, but that's a very expensive purchase. You can build a, upgrade this fellow to a dockyard. It's okay. Let's build a dockyard here, and then let's also pick up. Sixth rate. So this army, or this navy, has got something it can pick up on the way south. I mean, if the Spanish want to intercept me, that's fine. Because so we've got two fourths coming in, two fourths, two a third, two fourths, and three sixths is probably more than enough. Well, it will be more than enough to knock out these fellows. Even though the galleons provide surprising. Oh, they're, they're, like, they're fourth-rate equivalents, roughly. Hop over to here. Can't build anything. Union of Buccaneers ready to occupy one of these ports. I want to sail over and take Santo Domingo because they get access to three ports. Um, what's that tobacco plantation, coffee and sugar. 3,600 cash, which is obviously not what we'd like. Poland, Lithuania. I can't believe you did this to me. Okay, let's sail over to here. Then let's go... Okay, that sixth rate may act as a Invasion force to go hit Cagliari. I would it be tempting to take uh, Naples, but ooh, I've got to bear in mind. I hope that a fight wouldn't draw in this Spanish navy. Or I could just shoot this army straight for the jugular and go for Madrid, which probably isn't a terrible idea. Probably, that probably is a good idea, to be honest. But it does open us up to a land border with the French. Which isn't necessarily the place we want to be in. Cagliari is probably a good short-term holding. It's Caribbean. It's a... Car it's a... You want, you want Ireland? No. It's a Mediterranean island. It's already Catholic. So we should be able to storm in there and take it quite easily. It shouldn't be a massive drama to secure it. But yeah, I think it's, you know, it's kind of becoming imperative that we need to build a, a fleet to just babysit Malta. And ideally, not have the fleet be inside the capital have it based outside of the capital so I can resupply it or, or swell the fleet with other forces. It's only a matter of time before the Barbary states go after me. Okay, well, longitude watch. It's useful. You stop going down. 
Okay, I don't want you to go. You don't really need to go down crop rotation. Maybe start to go down this route to build howitzers. And this college, you may actually might go for government by consent instead. I don't want to make people unhappy, but don't really have a choice. Good. The navy grows, so let's build that navy. You. So what have you got? You've got plenty of cavalry. So let's take this sixth rate over to another. Can this army leave Algiers? They should be able to. Yeah. Religious unrest will go down just as we convert the population. March you guys over to Anaba, ready to embark. Let's go hit Cagliari. 700 cash. Can't really spend on anything useful. I mean, I need 1200 to upgrade either of those things. But it looks like we are actually not exporting all of our sugar or all of our tobacco already. So we definitely want to upgrade this fella to a commercial port. But then again, we aren't trading anyway, so... Hmm. So looks like the Spanish are gearing up. Oh, got some rebellions in Zagreb against the Croatian rebels. If we can hop over, take Cagliari in a short, quick, decisive little battle, that would be quite nice. We are fighting against. We will be fighting against lots of militia because we did get a glimpse of their their garrison force. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer that the Russians have blockaded us, but that's not what we can really do. Just expand our navy. And then fight them. But it, it is concerning now that there might be a case of the Spanish force in Sicily coming to support them. So there may even be a case to land a unit there to raid and force that Spanish navy out so they redeploy. The, uh, the unit will be, probably will be, fairly immediately destroyed. But the idea is to punt them out of their port and hope that they move their ships somewhere else to make sure they don't get involved in this engagement. You demand an alliance? Who are you at war with? You're at war with Russia? Yes, I want... Let's get some friends. I think the I'm upgrading okay I'm tempted to cancel that because I pretty much don't need the capacity because I don't have the money to take advantage of it whereas it's better it's better that I spend what I've got okay so let's take embark this lone colonial unit drop them off of the Sicilian coast, bring you guys back, march these guys towards Syracuse. Uh, I'm not aboard Georgia, no. So this big navy that's growing in the med I haven't got to worry about. Let's march you guys across. Embark you, take this sixth rate. Land, and we're going to attack the city. Well, I'm going to quickly cut the recording here because I need to go to the bathroom. So, one second, everyone. And we're back. And yes, we're going to attack Cagliari. And fortunately, the garrison did not get access to any mortars. So, it's just a militia slaughter fest. So, let's take them out. But yes, the idea of this attack 
is just to take a fairly simple settlement to provide a little bit more tax income. Especially in a way that my army is close to North Africa, so I don't have to worry too much about being caught out and being invaded when my, when my army is deployed. Okay, so let's take... Half my army is going to go around one side of the fort, the town. Half the army is going to go around... One well, army's going to go around the left, one's going to go around the right. They're going to get cavalry support. My pikes are probably going to advance through the town. I forgot about my general, but it doesn't seem to have mattered. I need to run my infantry from a long way off. Oh, okay, no, don't worry about running. I thought they might I thought they were gonna deploy up, but they haven't, thankfully. So my guns can do a bit more work on them. Although this flank might have to run. Cavalry unit more into the centre. I hear a cavalry charge. I run my cavalry over to block. Which way are you going to go? Left or right? Seems a bit silly. It's not their general either, so... They are charging my pikes. You're more than welcome to pursue such a stratagem. Let's just make sure my guns aim at something else. There we go. Battle lines have been met. Let's run that infantry. Set my cavalry to run around my line by holding shift and right clicking. No, that's why I did, I did want to do that. So I've made them run the first leg and they're going to walk the rest of it. It's not super important. They run the whole way. And my general, let's move my general up. So most of the strength is on the left. The pikemen are going to get into a position to charge the 18th regiment of militia. Get one gun unit. Oh, I was about to say to support my line infantry on the right, but it looks like they are going to deploy in such a way that we can open fire on them. Cavalry is getting in position. The line infantry battle is raging. 23rd have routed. Bring my general up. Push around the flank. Just keep pushing around the flank. get my cavalry to run now. Yeah, they've broken on the right as well. Get my general to hunt down this infantry unit just to make sure they don't come back. Push my line up. Just 
keep the pressure going. Just keep charging my Pokemon on. So these fellas are going to get shot down by my infantry. Once they've reloaded, of course. Yeah, you might get some lucky shots at point blank range, Militia, but a 30 second is supported by artillery, and they're just going to get blown to bits. Maybe not deploy all of my infantry. Let's leave some behind. In cooperation with my general's bodyguard. This cavalry's doing nothing in the centre, but there's not a lot really it can do. There we go. My pikes have hit the next regiment on their chop list. Some line infantry to try and or to get ready to charge this position the rest of my infantry that is not currently hasn't currently been given orders push into the town ready for bayonet charge pretty that was danger close really Like me doing an excellent job against this militia. They don't even have bayonets. These are becoming quite veteran pikemen. The cavalry charges into the 20th, which is guarding the town hall. Charge them with bayonets. So charge this unit back here with my general, because by the time his charge gets in, these guys will have fired all of their volleys. Let them fire their last. Then bring them over. Doesn't matter about killing them all, it's a settlement fight. What is useful is uh, trapping some of them in a crossfire. Yeah, these militiamen have tried to engage my infantry, but they're fully armed, and they're fully equipped with melee fighting utensils, so these militia will fall thick and fast. These fellas, including my cavalry, looks like I didn't lose any on the spikes. Although that, that I was about to say, that feels like everyone. It's a good win. A good, nice and quick stepping stone. I did not want to offer them a chance to surrender because obviously I want the territory. Well, I don't want Spain to have their army back. Spend the arm. Spend the money replenishing on this army as quickly as possible. Algero, which is the port in 32 turns. It's another 458 in tax, which is all right. 2,800 predicted next turn. So I'm going to the point where I need to literally need to uh, break the blockade quickly but should be in a good place to do so because I've got a good navy being constructed Spanish are probably going to go and attack Lisbon 
which is useful because if they are attacking Lisbon, then it keeps them. You demand the Bahamas. You don't offer much, do you? You don't want much, especially for a one nation, a one territory power. Don't worry, Russia. I have plans for you. I want to take Cagliari. I want to take Naples. I want to invade France and Spain. I want to invade Russia, or at least Russian-held territories in the Balkans. The scope is massive right now. Just got to keep building up a navy. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. And the new Spaniards actually lost a few ships there. It's only a matter of time before the Barbary States get involved, but we don't care if they do. Twenty three hundred. So we've got another fourth rate. Getting two more there. You can pick up two sixth rates on route, and then once that queue is finished, I think that's pretty much it. That's everything I'll need. And obviously, you got. No, I, I keep saying it. You guys will be saying that navy's fine. I suck at naval battles, so I need. Okay, one turn. Okay, let's do that. They'll pick up two more fourths. Two more fourths, another sixth, unless I can recruit a sixth somewhere else in one turn. Then we'll combine those fleets, combine it with this fleet, and sail over and attack the Russians. Research and tech is still okay. Like I said, I'm unhappy about tuners if worst comes to the worst i'll have to knock down this iron workshop to build a happiness building but if i do i do we should get eventually plus two order from religious unrest as that goes away poland and sweden are at war good strong poland is in my interests we've punted the spaniards out of their port their navy is relocating. They shouldn't intercept us. Okay, that's kind of not what we wanted to happen at all. Although I actually think it was the same navy. But they shouldn't intercept us. We can outnumber them considerably. And if they do engage us, then I will attack. Then I will definitely fight it in order to expand my own fleet with heavier ships. And then probably my heavier force will stay in the med and I will want to keep upgrading my I will want to upgrade my Algiers port in order to make sure I can keep rebuilding the biggest ships I can to defend my port because it's only a matter of time before I start getting attacked by second and third rates. It was raided naval surveyor. So these guys unfortunately won't be able to help. Good old Sweden. Okay, so let's take this fleet. Could probably set some of my guys to do raiding, really, because there's some there's some good trade there. Post this battle, that's probably what I'll do. My heavy fleet will end up staying in the med. You gonna fight me, Spain? Thought not. I could just sail over and attack them, but I want to pick up the ships in this shipyard as well. And if I'm going to, if I'm going to wait one more turn, I'll pick up one more sixth rate, and then I will also. I've got eighteen hundred. Let's pick up. 
pick up cobbled roads. France has consolidated its empire. They've knocked out the 13 colonies. France is the dominant power in the, in the Americas. But an interesting proposal is if I take out the French, then uh, that might become the United States, which would be an interesting enemy to fight. I do have plans on taking this army over here to take Naples as well because I'm friendly with the Italian states so I'm not bothered about them good I want to ally with them so when I take Naples they won't be super unhappy with me and if they declare war on me then I will give them Naples Spain has taken Lisbon it's happened See, now they just want peace, yes. There's no point to staying at war with them. I may as well just try and make peace with the people that I can. But I do want to attack. I definitely want to attack France. I definitely want to attack Spain. Spain's probably a better shout... Because it's more easily reinforceable from my territory. But I do want to take Naples because we've seen how good Naples is to hold. But now I'm allied with the Italian states. I don't have to worry about a land-born invasion from them. So that's rather useful. Government, my consent. So everyone's a little bit more unhappy. So let's not research another one immediately after that. Let's go for crop rotation. One more turn to explosive shells. Peace with Poland. We've got another sixth. Okay, let's go take out the Russians. So the war galleons are they're not they're not bad ships. At the very least, my hope is. You know, if... I mean, it's still definitely possible I could absolutely stack this, but my hope is that... As much damage as I... If I can do as much damage as I can, then we will be free to sally out of the port with my home fleet. So I've got my fourth rate up front with my Admiral close behind them. Sit still because currently it doesn't serve us any benefit to move. I slowly advance. So I do. I just want to win. I don't want to capture all their ships. I want to capture their war galleons and their fourth rates. That would be what I constitute a win. So the war galleons do have more guns than my fourth rates. And then we are relegated to sixth rates. But we are sailing towards an engagement. go so this is what usually happens is the AI decides no nah, you know what I don't want to keep sailing that way I want to backtrack but obviously I don't want to sail towards them because I don't want to start sailing up against the wind Okay, so what I might do, guys, so I don't waste a bunch of your guys' time, is chop the recording here till something interesting happens. So, see you in a sec, everyone. To quote Master and Commander, I'm following the strategy of never mind the manoeuvres, just go straight at them. Well, not never mind the manoeuvres, go straight at them. Um, get my ships into a position 
get all my ships into a position where they can now engage at range, even though it's un unsatisfactory odds. But I do have my fifth, my third rate in the mix. Well, I do want to. My admiral's dead. <laughs> what a freak shot that is. We need to definitely try and start to make sure we can knock out some of these war galleons. That is the bulk of their firepower. Sail at full sail. When you goes to fire at will. Chain shot. So ideally I want to knock some masts off of them so I can hammer the hell out of them. When they're dismasted I can drop my sick rates. I can drop my sick rates into the mix. Not too bad about the mast. Or lack thereof. Load your broadside. Everyone else can just fire at will for now. I don't really have a target. Just everyone's engaging the fifth rate, which I'm happy with. My main focus is making sure I do as much damage to this war galleon as I can. Okay, you can drop sail. Oh no. She's turning. I want to go alongside to get a good broadside, but I'll take a uh, a raking broadside. Okay, you can just. Stay here and drop anchor. You can drop anchor and stop. You begin to sail more like this. And cut off the head of their column. Or get ready to cut the head off of their column. His fifth rate is going down big time. Get broadsides ready for both sides. I don't quite know which direction this fella's going to try and sail. Fortunately, it's my sixth rates that are sucking up a lot of the damage. Sorry about any friendly fire. Galleon is wavering. So Ajax, Ajax should be able to take care of this guy. You sail on, fire off your starboard broadside.
Let's try to keep as many guns firing as possible. You start. You can fire some chain shot to try and knock out some of these ships. Keep pouring fire into this war galleon. You chase her down. Load your broadside. You want to get a good shot into this fella. because I can tell what's going to happen here. Keep firing at long range. Uh, I thought I, I over-anticipated there. Nymph is upset, but that's okay. We can deal with the loss of Nymph. Put a broadside into the back of Le Femme. Good, you didn't manage to fire your broadside yet. So you can pump another broadside into Le Femme. For whatever damage it will do. Got a huge amount. The war galleon's routing once more. Fire your shots fairly quickly. Before I run out of room to manoeuvre. are doing bad. Oh, my. See, my Admiral's flagship is wavering, which it is. Size firing. Could you fire your broadside now as bad as it's as unsatisfactory as it's going to be. Let's get Bellerophon into the mix, try huck some chain shot into Gavril. I think we might get lucky. Sadly not. You get back to firing round shot, hit Devonstadt. Let's get the fourth rate to square off. Okay, 
if you can let this fifth get close enough to you, General. Full broadside. You pivot. She want to get Le Femme on site. Let's get. No, oh, let's do. Oh, I was so busy fiddling with the <laughs> whether or not I should do broadside or not. I actually ended up nearly. Uh, nearly losing it. So I'll pivot this fellow around to get a broadside into. Oh no, Devon stats done. You stay where you are, you load your broadside. Got a lot of guns. There you go, then you're sinking. So let's get Bellerophon to pivot. They don't want to do chain shock because they've just unfurled all their sails. So we've also immediately got. This fella firing round shot. Big old stat is done. Pretty sure they're now going to try and flee. So let's speed up time. Because right now I've got Isis that's in a good spot to shoot at both ships. Oh, you're just wavering, I thought you died. Surrendered. Spin. Fire at will. Should be firing at will. Everyone against Gavril, the war galleon. One of our. Uh, we've lost one of our fourth rates, sadly. Keep pivoting. Boom. Just keep firing. Continue. Just want to keep how keep pounding the ship till it surrenders. And we can take it into our service. Decisive victory and the port of Malta is now open once more. So we lost two ships. They lost two, we captured six. We want the galleon, don't want the brig. That's a fourth. Don't want that, don't want the sixth. Good. However, we did lose our admiral. So let's extract my admiral and the ships. Oh no, I need to... Uh, Put the third rate in. So this is my navy. You can put into Safaki for immediate refit, and we can refit it. And this admiral, your admiral's flagship, can't join that fleet because it's an admiral as well. So let's put you into the shipyard. Let's 
still got a guy here guarding the port. Good stuff. We've got government by consent, so now we're back on we're up to 8,000. Why not more? Oh, because we've got uh, Spaniard problems, I think. Ah, oh, there we go, yeah. It's only a brig, but it's enough. So let's get the shipyard built. Let's pick up a sixth and we can just go fight that brig. Oh, that was the... Yeah, we've already fixed that problem. Good. So let's take the navy, or this sixth rate, pick up Costanto. And... I mean, okay. <laughs> Maintain siege for now. Let's take this ship back to Anaba. And because we've done a lot of a lot of in this episode of not really very much, we're gonna take out Naples. So it's gonna take me over the hour, but that's fine. Um, but it's been a bit of a bit of a naff episode, I can imagine, for watching. Especially it was the promise was so the promise was so high, you know. <laughs> you know I was anticipating. Uh, I was anticipating an episode where we really put the campaign forward by quite a good amount, but the Russians decided that that wasn't going to happen. So let's deploy our troops. Got some very game. We're starting to get some very veteran troops here. We want to rush them because they have mortars. Push everywhere. Something like that. And then let's. So the mortars are. Some of them are over here. In which case, then, this artillery unit is definitely going to go on a mission, although you three units drop into square, you stand still. And there's the other unit in town. So my cavalry can run. Look, it couldn't help themselves. They had to run towards that combat, even though explicitly didn't want them to go that way. Push these men up to form a battle line. You guys go hit their mortars. You guys hit the garrison line. really start to clear away through the town. Wasn't my initial plan. But they want to make this bloody. So my mortars have hit their unit. Well, my cavalry's hit a unit of their mortars. My infantry is running up into position. There we go, they're done for. Get my cavalry out to safety. Maybe potentially go for another direct run in to attack their mortars. Should use my pikes really here, but for whatever reason I'm dumb and I forgot about them. So they don't have bayonets, so my infantry will have the advantage. Um, I do want to charge these guys into the combat to help out my cavalry. Let's 
send my send my pikes on a long range charge. But right now I've got my grenadiers here, so they'll hold the line. Now ah, the mortars are back here, aren't they? Yep, there they are. Secure the town hall, man. the cavalry unit. Go hit this other unit of militia. Okay, you men turn around and hit this garrison line in the rear. Well, you definitely should be able to run through the gap. Push up. Some coverage could take out the general. There we go. My pikemen are marching in. I don't really need to secure the town hall, but it just seems in line with sort of things you should do. Yeah, they've broken. The pike charge was the uh, was the final straw. And there goes their general. There they go. Spanish army destroyed. No, no, they're not. Just by just by uh, attacking them with all of my cavalry and my artillery, the 28th, which temporarily came back, has been dis has been uh, convinced to turn around. And again, more than happy to fight this battle because I don't want this army returning to Spain. We we'll spend whatever money we have doing whatever little replenishment we can, and let's send gallopers out to secure. Taranto. So this area hasn't been developed really at all. Both the towns, most of the towns haven't been built. We don't need a Jesuit college. But I might leave it because we're, they just about like us. Um, but looking at the timer, what I think the timer is, that should be the end of the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully the end has put it, made it, the, uh, the start a bit, you know, has, has offset that somewhat. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.